Michaela Butler, a diver, is one of UMass's best kept secrets. I went to the Dryland Room, a training facility for the swim and dive team, where I got the opportunity to watch Butler and teammate Nolan Burns mess around a bit before sitting down for an interview. Through four seasons, Butler has amassed a long list of achievements. Some of the highlights of that list include seven medals during A tens, six gold and one silver. She was the first A ten and UMass swim and dive All American. She was the first member of the UMass women's swim and dive team to qualify for NCAA championships. She holds the UMass records on both the one and three meter boards. And this year, she won both UMass Scholar Athlete of the Year and UMass Athlete of the Year. It felt awesome to get honored with the awards of Scholar Athlete of the Year and Athlete of the Year. All of the hard work in and out of the pool and in academics was recognized. She was able to achieve all these things while never diving prior to college. I started diving when I came to UMass. I met a boy at orientation for track and he told me that UMass had a diving team. He knew that I did gymnastics in high school and that it was a similar sport, so I decided I'd give it a try. Unfortunately, an injury she sustained during high school will keep her from competing past the college level. I broke my L5 when I was 14 in gymnastics and didn't know right away, and so it got worse and worse and to the point where it wasn't going to heal. And then when I started diving, it was bothering me again, and the L5 fracture caused a herniation. Competing at the top level of diving would require a full pike list on 3 meter, which means that every dive is in the pike position and the pike is the dive that makes my back herniate more out of place. However, she doesn't plan on leaving diving behind just yet. After graduation, I'm going back home to Cape Cod. I'm working at a PT physical therapy office to get clinical hours and apply to PA school. I definitely plan to stay involved in diving. I'll be up at UMass cheering on my old team, and I already told Coach Hickson that I would be around if she ever needed help with anything.